Welcome back to another video. So today we are fortunate to be reviewing and kind of unboxing this Lion Cooler X50A. Now this, uh, you may have never heard of a Lion Cooler. It's basically the, the brand uh, Aco Power. They specialize in solar panels and kind of uh, power stations as well as now they're in the uh, electric cooler market as well. So we're gonna be reviewing uh, again the X50A and this is gonna be a bundle which is gonna have two batteries, a solar panel kit, the hardware, as well as the cooler. This, I'll put a link down in the description below where you guys can find this in order to purchase one for yourselves. Now this fridge we are looking at today is gonna be a 52 quart size and the portable batteries that can actually be taken out, charged and placed back in are gonna be 173 watt hours. Now we're gonna start the unboxing of this cooler solar panel battery combo this combo, the way it comes, as you guys are gonna see it in this video, is actually a bundle option from Costco. I will throw that link down there for you Costco members to get a great deal like this. If not, the Power website also has this bundle in a slightly different configuration, and I will throw that one down there for you as well. Now, let's get started on the unboxing of this combo. Now everything you're seeing here is gonna be what comes in this combo deal. We've got some cables down there. We have some more cables in here. Uh, we have the extra battery and then there's gonna be a battery in the cooler as it is right now. We're gonna go in depth on more of this stuff later in this video. I just wanted you to see kind of the whole package as it is out of the box, as well as talk about uh, a little extra thing that was thrown in for me today. In this package, due to some supply chain issues going on, the company was, uh, let me know in writing in the box that we actually got an upgraded solar panel. Now this solar panel is a little different than the one you might see in the Costco bundle. According to the Costco's website and the way they were advertising this, this was supposed to come with a generic 120 watt solar panel. That's all the information they would provide from Costco's website. However, the company uh, sent me some paperwork talking about the product and due to uh, some supply chain issues internationally, because this is drop shipped from the company, they are letting me know that instead of the regular portable 120 watt panels, I guess they're in short supply, they upgraded this one to a 120 watt panel with sun power cells, which they're stating that it's their highest efficiency and cost in the market. This is $100 more than the regular 120. Not entirely sure what the difference is. I looked on Atco Power's website, wasn't able to find the two variations. Maybe they source out the regular 120 watt panel and this is their particular panel. Not totally sure. Maybe someone out there on the internet knows more. If so, please let me know in the comment section below so I have a little bit better understanding. With that, we're gonna go ahead and open everything up and do a little review of the quality of the materials. And here's the cooler. Open this guy up, it's got a nice hard shell top. Great, good latching system which has some hard plastic. Uh, that holds up pretty well and it is, is pretty snug on there. It doesn't seem like it's gonna pop open, which is nice. We got two little cup holders here. Open it up, as you can see inside here. Inside here, pretty good space. Just a little awkward from some of the other competitors being that the compressor is up top and typically it's down low. Gives you a little bit more access when you're opening the lid, but we'll see how this operates in use. Moving over here, uh, here's gonna be your kind of interface. We do have a nice little USB access in case you wanna charge your phone or any other devices. We'll power this thing up in a little bit once we're out using it to kind of show you how the display operates. Right here is gonna be where you uh, put your batteries in and that is gonna be your battery. This is gonna be the 173 watt that just kind of plugs uh, and slim nice into the, the cooler itself. And here you can turn this on when it's charged and see how much battery you have. Moving over here to the sides, this is gonna be your charger. 
and you have some nice strong handles here. There's another one on the other side as well. Looking at the back side of this, you can see that it has some pretty good rugged wheels and as well as a very solid handle. So we've got an extra 173 watt uh, battery. These are 10 hour batteries for refrigeration and five hour batteries if you're using them at like below freezing temperatures. Some people are reporting in the reviews that they've gotten up to 20 hours refrigeration with these things and other people are saying right at the 10 hour mark. Obviously it's all going to depend on the contents inside of your cooler as well as the ambient temperature outside. Basically how hard is the compressor going to have to work to refrigerate the inside of your cooler. Look at the solar panel. This thing is like really nice quality. Obviously you can see the Velcro is pretty secure. Solid handle here for carrying this. If we open it up, pretty decent size three panel solar panel. So this thing is pretty sweet. Each panel is like mated really well with some really thick fabric, which seems like it's gonna hold up really well over time. Again, this is gonna be a 120 watt. They do offer some higher wattage. Now later on in this video, we are gonna be reviewing the operation of the cooler with some stuff in it after we get it uh, running for a little while. We're also gonna do a little testing on the solar panel and the battery life. So stay around for later in the video. Uh, another thing I noticed is we have a nice pouch here to kind of keep all your hardware together. There's also, if you can see here, there's a little inverter. You're able to actually use this solar panel not only to charge the cooler itself with the battery inside of it, but it's also got some USB outlets here as well as a, a, uh, a type C. So you're able to even charge. As you can see, we have uh, far too many cables, but it's all necessary because there's three different ways that you can operate this cooler and batteries. Both these batteries came with a charge on them. The one that came in the cooler came with three out of four bars, but this one that came secondary only has one bar. We got about an hour and a half to two hours of daylight left. We're gonna put this solar panel in the sun and see how far we can charge this battery. About two hours had gone by and finally our sun is gone. And when we had started this, we were at flashing one bar. So that means less than 25%. We are now flashing at three bars. So anywhere above 50%. So two hours we gained at least at least 25 to 30% battery charge, which is pretty good for this 120 watt panel. Uh, it does recommend, or it does say that this can take about four hours to charge this to full. We are back from our camping trip that lasted. We were out there using the cooler the entire time and didn't really notice any major issues. The outside temp was about 100 to 105 degrees and we we're here in California. We were driving about two hours to our campground where I had the cooler running. The entire time we were driving and I had it hooked up and I had it hooked up to the 120 outlet in the back of my Tacoma and just had that thing uh, charge while it was operating and holding at 32 degrees while driving. What I noticed was once we arrived at the campground and having that cooler set at 32 degrees, uh, with the outside temperature being so high and it being in the back of my truck, it was kind of struggling to maintain that 32 degrees. However, it was only within I would say one to two degree difference, um, kind of depending on if it, if it was in direct sunlight or if it was in the shade. If you want a certain temperature, what I've noticed is sort of reduce it maybe two to four degrees. Uh, the walls of the cooler where the cooling goes around will get a lot colder, uh, but then the ambient air temperature inside the cooler may be slightly warmer than that. Another factor to consider is what the cooler is loaded with. If things are already cold that you're putting in there, it's not gonna have to work as hard to cool that environment to keep it at that set temperature. For us, we had a lot of frozen meats and those were kind of helping with that temperature inside the cooler and maintaining it as well. As for my kind of review on the product over those three days, having that solar panel and having the extra battery made a huge difference. It allowed me to operate the cooler at night without having the sun. And then during the daytime, I can plug in the dead battery into the cooler and then plug the solar panel directly to the cooler, allowing it to operate the cooler and charge the battery at the same time. Right now, I am driving over to Alex's shop where we're gonna kind of take everything out and do some testing on 
the solar panel, the batteries, and the cooler out in the sun. That I decided to be a good time to plug the cooler in into the cigarette lighter of my truck here, which I have set up right here. Once I turned it on, it was reading that it was 65 degrees Fahrenheit inside the cooler, and I've got it running on its max mode in order to get it down to the correct temperature that we set it at, which is 32 degrees. We're gonna see how long it takes for it to kind of get to the 32 degrees running on this cigarette lighter. Now to mention, since we were driving for the past 15 minutes, I haven't really noticed cooler running all that much. I don't know if you can hear it. There's nothing going on in the, in the truck right now. AC's off, not playing any music. So if you can hear that, that's pretty much as loud as it gets. It's just kind of white noise for me driving, and I don't hear it when I'm driving on the freeway because the road noise is much, much louder than that. Uh, another cool feature is while you're driving and you kind of want to check your cooler temperatures to make sure things are running good, or if you want to make some adjustments, you can actually pull up their app, which is Bluetooth, and it connects right to that cooler, which is pretty sweet. Here's what the app interface looks like shows your overall temperature right here. So it's been about 10 minutes is what it took me to get here. And it dropped 20 degrees in temperature. I do have it on the max mode. I will switch it to the eco mode once we reach that set temperature that we want, which is 32 degrees. Here you have your different voltage protections, I guess high, medium, and low. So this is sort of what the interface looks like. Very user friendly. Now let's get out and let's set up the solar panel to see how much power that solar panel is actually putting out. So I have here a multimeter set up running directly over to the solar panels, which are in some really good direct light, no clouds or anything overhead. And over here I have the multimeter, and right now it's reading uh, 21.7. Now based on AquaPower's website and this solar panel, it's maximum operating voltage, you should see around 20.8. So right now we are seeing uh, nearly one whole volt higher than what this says that it's rated at. And it's been about 20 minutes since this cooler's been on and set at the 32 degrees. Again, the ambient temperature inside was 65 when I turned it on. And since it's been just sitting in a shaded area, and we are now down to 30 degrees, now I can switch it to the eco mode and allows it to kind of save some of the battery and hold at that 32 degrees or 30 that it's at. Now the overall size inside this cooler was quite enough uh, since I wouldn't have to put any ice inside. This is the 52 quart cooler and with that I was able to have enough hamburgers, hot dogs, eggs, and bacon for 13 people for three days. So that kind of says a lot about the size of this cooler and how much you can actually fit inside. Now the only issues that I noticed operating with this system with a solar panel connected to the cooler was while we were out gone for about four or five hours uh, on a hike and swimming in the river. It was again the 100 to 105 degrees outside and I left this in the bed of the truck just for security purposes. Had that locked up but I had the windows open so it had a constant flow of air. Now when I got back it had used about 50 to 70 percent of the battery because it was so hot outside with the solar panel kind of assisting its operation. However, once the outside temps drop down to the 70s or 80s in the evenings, and as low as 60 at night, the cooler had no problem maintaining the temperature throughout uh, eight to 10 hours at night, and would only use about uh, 25 to 30% of the battery. All said and done, I was kind of able to make one battery last about 18 to 20 hours until I would have to switch to my second battery. So if you're looking at getting a kit like this, like the deal that I got from Costco, I would definitely look to get an additional battery with the solar panel. If you're watching this video and you're kind of looking at this option, getting the extra battery and the solar panel and this kind of battery operated cooler, this is gonna be more catered towards a quick day trip or maybe a day or two when you're gonna have some sunlight, uh, just to maintain some battery power towards the cooler and that extra battery. Now, if you're looking for something that's gonna last you weeks or you're um, living out of your van or your truck or your rig uh, for weeks at a time, it might be a better idea to get a larger power station so that you can operate other equipment as well as not have to rely on any sun or any sort of generator powering your battery. So with that, it may be better to get a electric cooler that does not have a battery built in and be using a power station separately. 
with that, I'm super happy with this purchase. I think this is gonna be great for my needs going out for a day or two camping and going off-roading. So I'm very happy with this product. And I just checked on their website right now. They are having a sale on these. Uh, go check them out. I'll put the link in the description below. Other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.